Hey guys, so going to play some of this new game that popped down early access in Steam the other day. It is called um, Teja Hackensons, is that his name? Powder VR. No idea who that guy is. Probably mispronounced his name. Anyway, it's early access, which you can kind of tell by the, um, should we say, need to decorate the place we're in at the moment. Lovely mirrored effect. I do like the mirrors on the walls, but probably not practical for cleaning. And there's me. Um, I'm a little bit transparent, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's jump in and see how this plays. Oh, change our gear. Um, we got gloves, so let's have a look at, let's change the colour. Um, I actually prefer blue, I think. Yeah, let's go with the blue. Yeah, that works. Um, I guess we'll be able to change the other bits when it's a little bit more developed, but that's one of the fun things of early access. Yeah, that doesn't work. No hat. No beard. Okay. Never mind. Um, yeah, that doesn't work. Anyway, I'm sure it will do in time. So, let's uh, get our skis going. Oh, so you've got a choice of skis. You've got these nice red ones at the moment. You can have wooden ones, uh, waxed wooden ones dollar skis and these are the big box sports starter skis oh and it looks like length isn't an attribute i mean we all know that length is a very important attribute for any keen skier anyway despite that flaw let's jump in and see what this is like what's the difference between a snowboarder and a scorpion momentum is that supposed to be a joke This is not a mountain. What is... Oh, I see. We're in a tent. Okay. Okay. Time to go. Get up and get your gear. I didn't know we make such a loud noise by banging on the tent. Never mind. So what do we need to do? I think we need to grab some of this stuff down here. Um, uh, probably don't want the lantern on the ski slope. Definitely want the whiskey. Um... I think we've already drunk it. Definitely want a radio. Definitely need first aid kit. Probably don't need that, but let's take it anyway. All right. Ah, uh, guess we get out this way. Oh, hi. Who's this ready? dude? All right. The crew is still setting hmm. up, but the sun has come out, and it's time to ride. So the way you control this game is kind of through a. Uh, a little nervous, so let's try a practice run first. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a practice run. Powder, and it's all yours. So the way you control this game, as you can see, I haven't quite got the hang of it yet, is a combination of, you can kind of push yourself with the skis, or with your poles, like that, and then the controller gives you haptic feedback, so it kind of feels, you can almost feel when you hit the slopes. And, oh my days, okay, that was a lot steeper than I thought it was going to be. Um, oh, we're already up to 80 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour. Very realistic. So, I haven't quite got the hang of controlling this yet, as you can probably guess. Oh, ow, ah. Oh, we're not dead. Huh, that's impressive. It's got a bullet time on it as well, so when you get air, it kind of slows you down, which is quite cool. It's very icy on that bit. Oh, these are the, that's the pipes to grind on. We've got them. Nice. You can jump by holding down the okay. Trigger. Oh, pulled the wrong trigger. Releasing it. You'll have to jump over the river to complete the run. Try to release just as you reach the Sketchy 360. The Don't think it was a 360, but never mind. So there you go. Done. Like Survived, despite that um, flight into the side of the ravine earlier. Anyway, the way you control it is you can either use your move your hands, so either forward or backwards, like handlebars, and then you can also lean into the turns as well, and then turn your body if you want to try and carve. Anyway, what's going on here? Interesting decoration in his helicopter. Rubber duck, every what helicopter needs that, light. and a pillow. Okay, let's grab these rails and see what run. happens. Thank you, I think we're going to need some luck. Alright, let's go. Oh, 
Ah, so we've got a silent course here, so we've got to aim for all these gates. Obviously, this was, if this was real skiing, I would definitely be doing 100 miles an hour at this point in real life. Probably do with improving my carving a bit. A bit close to that tree, to worry. Okay, we're gonna have to try and thread through some trees here at the after this gate. Just made it. Oh, just made it. That was close. That uh, looks like the end is in sight. So if we no, we're not going that quick anymore. Only 80 miles an hour. I think we're almost at the finish. Just one more gate. Done. Nice. We survived. Didn't hit any trees. Oh. Sweet. Nice. Okay, let's see what happens next. Okay, back in the chopper. It says God. stage two, race. Alright, let's see what happens here. Okay, let's go. Oh, hello. Got a couple of snowboarders and skiers, our favourite. Oh, we don't seem to have any gates either, so I guess we just tuck down, lean forward, and try and beat these guys to the bottom. Like his stance. So given I've not really done that much skiing, but she's having fun, it's nice to see. I don't, obviously, it's never going to, well that was close, so yeah it's never going to fully replicate what it feels like for obvious reasons, but it feels like you do need to make the effort to turn your whole body to control the skis properly, so you don't just move your hands to do it. It really helps if you move your legs, if you rotate your legs around as well. So it's quite good fun once you get into it. It's taken me a little bit of a while to... You do have to kind of adjust to it as well because it's quite easy to uh, make yourself feel a little bit ill. Wow, it did not give me much room. Standard snowboarders. Oh, we won. Awesome. But yeah, it was fun. Probably not something I could spend two hours in a row playing because you would start to get pretty disoriented. But um, yeah, for a first early access game, it's a lot of fun. I think it's only £11 on Steam at the moment, so um, pretty cheap. And definitely gave me a good fun half hour playing around with it. Right, you might be wondering what happens when something goes wrong and you drive into a... Sorry, drive. Slide into a ski. A ski? A tree, sorry. So, this is a run I did earlier where I did exactly that. And as you're about to see, it's. I mean, I wouldn't say realistic, but it certainly makes you aware of the dangers of sliding into a tree. So, hold on to your hats. So, it's all going well so far. Now we're going to come up to this little section with the... Well, you've got to thread it through the tree straight after the gate. Oh, and that did not end well. It gives you a nice replay afterwards. So here I come. Very realistic body model. Straight into the fence. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, so maybe some work needs to be done on those gate physics. Uh, but I like the way the body just kind of flies off. And even better, it shows you what you've broken. So shattered our tibias, our femurs, radius, pelvis, ribs, and best of all, shattered our skull. So we're definitely dead. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that.